Okay, so let's just pretend that there is this nanotechnology that women are using and sometimes it kickstarts what their body has been designed to naturally do. Now, if this is true, there is enough, let me say kind of research or use of IVF for them to um, come up with some like concrete evidence that this is what happens for some people. But then you're getting into really scary situations that you are using some kind of technology that is um, almost kind of reprogramming your system outside of nature. And if this is true, and they know this and they're not disclosing this to women to then make a more educated choice whether they want to use it or not um, would be really unethical but it does it, it doesn't work that way scientifically it just doesn't work that way so with the medications that you are using you have to consistently use that medication to produce produce the desired outcome so whether it be estrogen or progesterone um, immune suppressing drugs um, the trigger shot for ovulation that's how medication works and the other scientific fact is that your cells are reacting to the environment that you're in over a period of time right so what happens with a lot of women is before doing IVF I'm going to speak to my own experience they try out different things to boost their chances right like no one really wants to do a round of IVF and spend all that money and go through all those procedures so you are looking into different diets different supplements different holistic modalities and even if they aren't the right things for you for the most part they are improving your situation but in my own personal experience and with my clients sometimes it's um, just not the right things not completely the right things you're not getting down to the root cause of things the other thing is time you're not giving your body enough time for those holistic modalities to reverse um, the inflammation and the oxidative stress that are causing these issues um, because it just sometimes it just doesn't happen overnight. I know some people can go gluten free for three months and all of a sudden they're pregnant. A lot of people just aren't like that. So they go, they think medical treatment's gonna work, and it doesn't. But just because that medical treatment didn't work doesn't mean that everything that you have done before that medical treatment hasn't improved your situation. So you do a medical treatment, it fails, and for a lot of us, we think, well, if IVF doesn't work, then nothing can work. I mean, that is just just so wrong and so, like, just a mindset thing that we have gotten, like, way out of hand, right? A failed IVF does not dictate the future of your fertility. My journey is, like, a perfect example of that. Two failed IVFs, three frozen embryo transfers, two miscarriages and one live birth and then a natural pregnancy right so we have to not think about these medical treatments as um the like be all and end all of our fertility journey now you go further into your comments that you have had four natural pregnancies that have not um produced a live birth some clinics tell you have NK cells, some clinics have told you you don't. What you have done, I put my phone in between my legs, you, this is the fertility line. This is not perfection and this is not health. Before IVF, you were down here and maybe you were doing all these holistic practices. It sounds like you, you know, tried really hard. You're getting yourself up. You do IVF. It, it just doesn't work, right? For whatever reason. But you're still going, right? Like you're still taking your supplements, you're still doing your diet, you're still looking for your thing. You've just come up to this fertility line, right? Remember, it's not perfection and it's not a sign of health. You're hovering over this line and this is when we can see reoccurring miscarriages. You're healthy enough to get pregnant, but not healthy enough to maintain it. So what you would want to do is, well, two things really. You want to make sure you don't have NK cells. Um, and even if you're kind of like questioning yourself, do I, don't I, um, look at your normal and common health issues. Um, 
and keep going if you follow your intuition and feel like okay i know i'm on the right diet for myself keep going with that diet um if there's something like in the back of your mind that i'm like oh this is still like this still doesn't feel right hook up with someone that can help you do it get some fresh eyes on your journey and then you have to give it time in my journey once i found out i had high nk cells remember if you don't know my story i got diagnosed with high nk cells after a year of being paleo and my health was so good and a lot of my normal and common health issues went away so i was dealing with a few small things but i because i saw so much improvement i didn't think they were that big but i still got diagnosed with high nk cells after that the reason or like how i um reverse those NK cells is because I got on the right diet for me. I I found out that I was highly intolerant at the time to tomatoes, paprikas, aubergines, all the nightshades, and I gave it time. And between my IVF baby and getting pregnant naturally was um, about a year and a bit. And it my, th- that's when I reversed it. So making sure you're on the right, like truly on the right path for you and giving it time.